Hey guys, my name is Prince Mason. I'm a beauty portrait, fashion and lifestyle photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. And today I'll be showing you how to sharpen your images and get that very crispy look. Now, if you use frequency separation, you will know that your the action or the frequency separation technique actually separates your image into two. It puts your textures in one layer and it puts your tones in another layer. Now, since your textures are in one layer, which is like right here, all you have to do is actually duplicate your texture. So I'm going to do that right now by clicking Ctrl J. Now once you duplicate your texture, you come back down and you change it to linear light. Now once you change it to linear light, you can see that you have so much detail. It's like it doubles the images, the details in your images, right? Now to make it look reasonable and better, all you have to do is reduce it. Reduce the opacity to something, um, let me say about 20 should be fine. Now at this point, the image is looking more detailed than um, it actually was after you finished retouching it. So this is the before and this is the after. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see this. This is the before, this is the after. Now at this point, all you have is more detail. You, the image is not actually like sharper than before. You just have more detail now. To sharpen your image, um, you want to create a new layer with your image in it by um, normally on my PC I do command option shift E this will merge your everything all your layers into one layer um, now after doing that I'm going to go to image brightness and contrast then I'll reduce my contrast all the way to 50 to minus 50 after I do that I'll click OK go to filter other high pass then I'll set my radius um, between 1.5 to 2 but for this image I'm just going to stay at 1.6 after I've done that I'm going to come and change my blend mode to vivid light now if I zoom in you see that the image is a lot more detailed than before this image is top sharp at this point let me show you before and after before again and after you can see that this image is sharper stack now all you have to do is reduce your opacity all the way to about 20 or 30 depending on what you want and your image is sharp it has way more detail than it had before and your image is very very sharp right now this is the before and this is the after you can decide to go up the notch if you want it depends on what you want but basically this is how I sharpen my image, this is how I get the extra texture in my image when I shoot beauty. This um, mimics the look of like a 50 megapixel camera. Now you can reduce the sharpness in the hair by actually creating a layer mask and um, painting it out so that the hair doesn't look too sharp and doesn't look fake. So I'm just going to do that. I'll set my brush to black, my um, foreground color to black and I'm just going to paint black over this. And this will keep the hair nice and soft then make the skin sharp and very detailed so guys this is how i sharpen my image and get my very detailed skin um hopefully i'll bring you guys a lot more tutorials if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later